morning students welcome to the session as you know that we are discussing english subject and the grammar part where we are discussing figure of speech and today's session is uh, the sixth session and today in this session what we have learned in previous session the types of figures of speech we will continue that in this session children so before that let me clarify that we are discussing figures of speech where in this figures of speech 15 different types of figures of speech we have listed in the previous sessions and let me recall all of those 15 uh, figures of speech and uh, where we have studied and learned 10 types of figures of speech in the previous session. So they are number one, simile. And uh, listen carefully, children. I have written the explanation. Listen carefully and open your notebook, grammar book, and write down these children. Okay. So the first type of figure of speech is uh, simile. Second one, metaphor. Third one, personification. Fourth one, apostrophe. Fifth one, synagogue. Sixth, euphemism. Seven, alliteration. Eighth, consonants. Ninth, assonance. And tenth, metonymy. And this ten, all these ten types of figures of speech we have discussed in the previous sessions. Today, from 11 to 15, that is the 11 to an irony, 12th antithesis, 13th oxymoron, 14th pun or pun, 15th paradox. So, these five types of figures of speech we will learn today in this session with example children. So take care and write down this uh, what I have written on board in your uh, notebook children. So come to this 11th uh, uh, type of uh, figures of speech, irony. So irony is a mode of speech in which the real meaning is exactly opposite of that which is literally conveyed. So, what the exact word we have used in the sentence as literally, that is exactly opposite for the real meaning. So, I will pronounce here, irony is the mode of speech in which the real meaning is exactly opposite of the which is literally conveyed. The real meaning is exactly opposite here. Example, example, water, water everywhere. And all the birds did swing. Water, water everywhere. Nor any drop to drink. So in these slides, we are going to observe the meaning which are written literally the words says the opposite of the of the words. So, nor any drop to drink. That is uh, what in the previous slide, water, water, anywhere, but uh, the meaning is here, yes, nor any drop to drink, says the uh, exactly opposite of that which it is uh, literally conveying. So, I hope I understood this uh, because of speech, it is irony. The meaning is uh, exactly opposite of that which is literally conveyed. So, next, the uh, 12th, 12th type of uh, because of speech, antithesis. So, what is this meaning, antithesis? An antithesis, so a striking opposition or 
कंट्रेस्ट ऑफ वर्ड्स स्ट्राइकिंग अपोजिशन और कंट्रेस्ट ऑफ वर्ड्स और सेंटीमेंट्स इज मेड सेंटीमेंट्स इज मेड इन द सेम सेंटेंस इज इट चिल्ड्रन एंटीटीसीज इज स्ट्राइकिंग अपोजिशन कंट्रेस्ट ऑफ वर्ड्स सेंटीमेंट्स इज मेड इन द सेम सेंटेंस इट इज एम्प्लॉयड टू secure emphasis it is employed to secure emphasis or emphasize example man proposes god disposes so here a contrast of words which is going to opposite striking opposition to each other man proposes god disposes that is the ending it is Second example: Speech is silver, but silence is golden. Here also we are going to see the striking opposition or contrast of words in the same sentence. The same sentence. So this is about the antithesis, children. I hope you are following up and understanding the concept, the feel of speech. Next, we go to the next. Uh, Thirteenth figures of speech that is oxymoron. Oxymoron. So oxymoron is a special form of antithesis whereby two contradictory qualities are present at once of the same thing. I repeat this again. Oxymoron is a special form of antithesis whereby two contradictory qualities. are predicted at once of the same thing example first for example so innocent art so cunningly simple see here innocent and cunning they are the contradictory qualities here it is predicted in the same thing the ones second example His honor rooted in a dishonestood. His honor rooted in a dishonestood. Here also we have to observe the two contradictory qualities: his honor, dishonor, and faith unfaithful kept him falsely true. Here, faith unfaithful and falsely true. Falsely true, two contradictory uh, qualities. That is a, a special type of a, a special form of a antithesis referred as a oxymoron. Next, fourteenth uh, figure of speech uh, that is spoon or pun consists in the use of a word in such a way. A pun consists of a Consists in the use of a word in such a way that it is capable of more than one application. Here, a word is used in such a way that it is capable of more than one application. The object being to produce a ludicrous effect. Example: Is life worth living? Is life Worth living, it depends upon the liver. Is worth is a life worth living. It depends upon the liver. So that is a pun. Next last type is a pun. Paradox. So paradox is a presentation of the. I tell children, paradox is the presentation of the. Truth. Paradox is the presentation of the truth in a form which seems which seems self-contradictory. Self-contradictory. It has also been defined as a seemingly absurd. A seemingly absurd.
Observe thought. Seemingly absurd thought. Whereas really well founded statement. Example: God is both the giver and the denier. God is both the giver and the denier. So. This is an example for a paradox. I hope children, during all these six sessions, we have completed the topic that is the figures of speech and I hope you have understood all these styles and written in your notebook children. Take care and see you in the next period children.